The mid-range smartphone price segment is probably the hottest smartphone price segment right now and why not? And you no longer need to spend the big bucks in order to get a top-notch smartphone experience. In fact, phones these days that are priced between 20,000 to 30,000 rupees offer a ton of value in everything that they bring to the table. Two such top-notch mid-range smartphones are the Motorola Edge 40 Neo and the OnePlus Nord CE3. And here's a quick look at the key specifications first and granted. Both variants of the Nord are about 4,000 rupees more expensive than the Motorola, but is the Nord CE3 worth that extra 4,000 rupees? I mean, which smartphone should you pick if endurance and performance are the two key factors while purchasing a new smartphone? Should it be the Nord CE3 or should it be the Edge 40 Neo? Let's find out. Hello everyone, I'm Ani of Fiber by Indy today and welcome to the battery drain test comparison between the Motorola Edge 40 Neo versus uh, the OnePlus Nord C3. But of course, before we get on with the rest of the video, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. As always, we start off the video by booting both devices and Motorola is the first one here to power up. So for this test, we have set the display to vivid color profiles, brightness and audio levels are set at 50%, 120Hz is enabled on both and I know Motorola supports 144Hz but to keep things equal, I have enabled 120Hz on both the smartphones. Now they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and uh, these devices are 100% charged. So starting with the, the two hours of YouTube video playback and undoubtedly both phones here have top-notch AMOLED screens in the mid-range price segment. All the features that you would expect uh, such as a high refresh rate, 10-bit colors, HDR10 playback, everything is here. However, there's a bit of difference in how they look and how they are tuned. Now, honestly, outdoors by some margin, the Edge 40 Neo does have the brighter panel, but let me also tell you, indoors, both phones are pretty apt while using these screens with adaptive brightness on. With manual brightness at 50%, like right now, yes, the Edge 40 Neo is the brighter and more visually appealing between the two, but the OnePlus Nord C3's screen shows some really natural looking tones, so ultimately it is a matter of preference. Also, the Nord's screen is safer on the eyes thanks to the 2160Hz PWM dimming while the Edge 40 Neo has a 144Hz screen versus 120Hz on the Nord so that is the Edge 40 Neo's advantage. According to me, practically if you ask me, the Nord C3 screen makes more sense as it is safer, exhibits natural tones and 120Hz refresh rate uh, that depletes less battery than 144Hz. So which phone's display do you think so is the better one here? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. As of right now, two hours of YouTube video playback is done and the Nord C3 is in the lead with a good enough margin. The Nord C3 is left with 92% battery while the Edge 40 Neo is trailing behind with 86% battery left. Okay, on to the video recording round and while the phones uh, record the 1080p videos here's a quick look at the camera specifications of both devices the Motorola Edge 40 Neo features a 50 megapixel primary rear camera with OIS coupled with a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 32 megapixel selfie snapper for videos, both the front and rear camera supports up to 4K 30fps recording. Now the OnePlus Nord CE3 on the other hand also features a 50 megapixel primary rear camera but with EIS coupled with an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. For videos, the Nord CE3 can do up to 4K 60fps videos from the rear but the front video recording is restricted to 1080p 30fps. Now here are some of the comparison photos of both the Edge 40 Neo and the Nord CE3 on your screens. And now to know in depth about the camera performance of both phones, be sure to check out the individual reviews. But which of these photo samples do you feel are better? Which phone did a better job? Let me know in the comments. For now, we are done with the 1080p video recording round and the Nord CE3 is still in the lead. Motorola did manage to close the gap somewhat. So the Nord C3 is now left with 71% battery while uh, the Motorola Edge 40 Neo is now left with 67% battery. Okay, it is now time for benchmarks and we start with Geekbench 6, but first the specifications. The Motorola Edge 40 Neo is powered by the 6 nanometer Dimensity 7030 chipset with up to 12 GB RAM and up to 256 GB storage. The Nord C3 on the other hand is powered by the Snapdragon 782G chip which is an overclocked Snapdragon 778G chipset. 
This phone also features up to 12 GB RAM coupled with up to 256 GB faster UFS 3.1 storage. So, okay, I have seen such kind of Geekman 6 numbers from the Dimensity 7030 chip, but after so many battery tests, I still can't digest the fact that these are the kind of scores the Nord C3 keeps getting because in turn, these scores are nowhere near the phone's real world performance. And similarly in Antutu as well, a pretty average score from the Snapdragon 782G chip here. But as I was saying, in the real world, the performance of the Nord C3 has been very good and nothing like how the scores suggest. In the 3D Mark stress test, both phones performed pretty decently with an average loop score of 2500 and 2800 respectively, with a superb stability score of 99%. Of course, these are not gaming phones, but they do suffice for their prices. And uh, finally, in the CPU throttle test as well, again, decent performance. Honestly speaking, I was surely expecting more here from the OnePlus Nord C3 in terms of benchmark scores, but benchmark numbers aren't the full story always. I will explain in a bit. So here's a breakdown of the benchmarks on your screens right now. You can pause and take a look. Okay, before we head on to the gaming round, right now four hours have gone into the test and the Nord C3 is still in the lead and the gap has again widened. The Nord C3 is left with 53% battery while the Motorola Edge 14 is now left with 46% battery. So as average the numbers were of the Nord C3 in the benchmarks round, the actual real world performance of the Nord and the Snapdragon 782G chipset is pretty good. Of course, both of these phones are not purely gaming phones as I mentioned earlier as well. But having said that, if you're somewhat of a casual gamer, you can rest assured both these phones will be able to deliver that nice and smooth gaming performance. Yes, somewhat of those stutters and frame drops are noticeable here and there, more so in the H14 Neo. But overall for their prices, both phones are pretty much able to handle the most demanding games out there. Also note, in between the two over long sessions of gaming, it is the OnePlus Nord C3 that has the tendency to better manage the thermals. Okay, we are done with an hour of gaming also and 5 hours have gone in total and the Nord C3 is still in the lead with a 7% gap. The Nord C3 is left with a 35% battery while the Motorola Edge 14 Neo is now left with 28% battery. Okay, social media time and so for an hour from here I will be playing a bunch of reels on both phones but yes, without keeping you waiting for the final minute, fast forward into the 6 hours mark and to no surprise actually, the OnePlus Nord C3 finishes with a 21% battery left while the Motorola Edge 40 Neo finishes with 12% battery left. Here's an hour by hour breakdown of the battery drain of both phones on your screens right now. So analyzing the results uh, when it comes to battery drainage, I think apart from the YouTube video playback round, both phones have pretty neck to neck showing in this test and on a different day, I think any phone can perform slightly better than the other. That said, one thing is for sure that if you're someone who loves watching a ton of videos on their phone, then let me tell you, Motorola's display is surely the one that drains more battery and also letting you know, I did this test with 120Hz mode turned on. So with 144Hz enabled, this would have been a different story. I think between both the phones, if I have to choose, then the Nord C3 is definitely the more practical option here because if you will be using your phone to consume a lot of content, not only will the phone return better endurance, but the display of the Nord C3 is also comparatively gentler on your eyes thanks to the 2160Hz PWM dimming. Either way, that's been it for this battery drain test comparison between the Motorola Edge 40 Neo and the OnePlus Nord C3. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.